everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back. And today I want to talk to y'all about Night Cafe's new stable diffusion model that has not been released anywhere. I have gotten some great information about Night Cafe's new stable diffusion model. Yes! That's awesome! This stable diffusion model is called Stable Diffusion XL, and it is a very powerful model that Night Cafe has implemented on their platform before any other AI generator. And we're going to check it out today. I have not looked at it yet. I have seen some emails come through, which is fantastic. And if y'all want to check it out, you can get some additional credits by trying out the new model and creating generations and obtaining new credits to make up for those generations that you are utilizing. Similarly, I do have a code in the description box below where you can use my coupon code and get 5% off as well. The pricing is cut for a limited time and so you definitely want to get on that now while you have the opportunity to jump on that with all that being said let's hop over to my computer screen and get into it so when you go to the night cafe website this is the pop-up that you will see introducing sdxl stable diffusion xl and it is a new model for stable diffusion that is larger and more capable than previous models if you go pro you can get 50 percent bonus credits which is really awesome so we're going to go ahead and click on try sdxl so you can click here make sure that you have the stable diffusion checked and then you want to just make sure you're on the SDXL beta. If you don't have advanced mode checked, you're just going to have text prompt and style number of images, and then it will show you your credit cost. If you have advanced mode checked, it's going to give you the advanced prompt editor. I'm just going to click on random here. We're going to do abandon mining town. And if you look at the advanced prompt editor, you can come in here and kind of add some presets into this and some modifiers into this to get more of a look and feel for what you want. And we've talked about this in previous videos. You can check those out up above. Let's just do cyberpunk for the heck of it. You can choose a star image if you want. We're gonna do four images and we're just gonna do a short runtime. And then again, use a new random seed for each creation. And we're gonna go ahead and click on create. This is actually pretty cool. This definitely reminds me of the cyberpunk kind of prompting that we had before. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this same prompt and I'm going to go and I'm going to run it back to Stable Diffusion uh, 2.1 and we're going to see what the difference is going to be between the two. I'll be able to do a compare and contrast. So a stark difference between the two. I mean, that's crazy. There's a stark difference between what was just input in Excel and what is going on now. I can appreciate the level of detail that was pulled out of the Excel model. You can definitely tell that it is way more improved than what was going on in previous models. What a time to be alive. If I click on history here, you can see this is the XL model and this is the non XL model. It has those same kind of cyberpunk colors and things of that nature. It definitely looks old and abandoned and things like that. But this definitely has more of that flavor. Let's try a few more. Here I just put in a basic prompt of an open book displaying a forest scene coming out of the pages fantasy style. This isn't really what I was exactly going for. I probably need to refine that prompt a little bit more, but you can see that the level of detail is completely different. This actually looks like it is coming out of, whereas this is like the forest is in the pages itself. Definitely two very big differentiations. Let's try to do some people. For this prompt, I said a portrait of a beautiful brunette girl on her wedding day, smiling and happy, green eyes, gorgeous white wedding, wedding dress, head and shoulders portrait, 8K resolution, and a bunch of all these uh, advanced prompts for a portrait. So you can see here that it definitely nailed it. She has a beautiful dress, green eyes, brunette, wedding. It's amazing. 1.2 didn't do a bad job, but with this artistic photography, it does not look realistic. This looks a lot more like what I was going for. And I will just say that the model in itself has really, it's just, it's amazing to me. This is it, man. This is what your grandchildren are gonna be smoking future. Let's try something a little bit more photorealistic. We'll do the same prompt, but we'll do color portrait. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay, so her eyes are like a little bit more on the blue side than the green side. The lips are a little wonky here. Uh, you could easily edit that through in Photoshop. They actually did an okay job with the hands. This one looks really good. They did pretty well. And you can see on this model, it doesn't look as realistic. So let's look here. This looks more like a photo. And the old stable diff diffusion version 2.1 is more like artsy fartsy. Like it's good, but it's not what we're looking for here. I just blew through a 
ton of credits. So if you guys are feeling froggy, definitely hit that super thanks down below because it does cost me money to make these videos. Honestly, I'm really blown away by this. We're gonna do a comparison to Mid Journey right now. Let's go. All right, let's see what Mid Journey does. Uh, Mid Journey took green eyes to the extreme level and actually matched the earrings in some cases to the eyes, which is kind of creepy. The photos don't look bad at all. I would say between the two, I like the SDXL way better. So if I'm doing portraits, I'm gonna come back to XL. Holy crap. Basically my mind is blown. So I'm gonna go ahead and try a few other prompts and show you what those look like between the two and maybe a comparison to Mid Journey. Y'all can make your own decision. And if you have any questions on the process, let me know. Okay, so here is 2.1 for a candy like cute baby tiger not really exactly what i was looking for here is xl so way 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 better than that previous version there's some weird stuff going on with the legs i mean you definitely need to make sure there's some refinement here when you're looking at utilizing these for sale but definitely worth it and let's see what v5 is coming out with V5 is doing a freaking crush up job too though. Yeah, I'm digging V5, but if you look at V5 versus XL, there's very a lot of similarities here. Check that out. So either way, depending on what model you're looking to utilize, if you're a mid-journey, you know, fanboy or fangirl, you can easily use V5 and have a good time with it, but if you want to do something different that not other people are really doing, because I feel a lot of people are using Midge and not exploring some of these other platforms, this Stable Diffusion XL model is really freaking mind blowing. So again, if y'all have any questions, feel free to drop a comment in the comments box below or reach out to me directly. And if there's anything else that y'all want to see on Night Cafe or AI in general, let me know. I will get some videos up for a fresh perspective and I will catch y'all on the next video. Shooting Star SVG, signing out.